Hey, this is Digital Bike Computing. Today we are here at my house and I'm gonna show you essentially my setup around my wireless Amazon Echo suite of products, how I use them, how I configure them, and perhaps I can give you some tips and some ideas on how you could be setting these up in your home uh, to create a beautiful uh, wireless music streaming controlling your home automation system across your house. So by having uh, a whole heap of devices around your house, you can create groups. So for example, I've got an indoor group, an outdoor group, where I can say play this particular song or this particular artist outside, and it'll play it just across the outside devices. Or I can say play this particular song in the bedroom, in the bathroom. I can say play it everywhere, and I've got a group with all of my devices in there. And that's really just from the music perspective, from the Echo devices themselves. But also very similar, you can create groups with all of your other smart home devices. So from your lights, I can have turn the lights on inside, it'll turn them on inside, outside, turn them on in the bedrooms, it'll turn it on just in the bedrooms, etc., etc. You can have cool things like reminders uh, that uh, you know as soon as you get home, uh, do this uh, because it knows your tracking uh, information of your location. Uh, you can do things like at certain times, at certain times turn on kids' bedrooms in the morning, play some music in the morning, whatever it may be. And another really great thing that you can do is you can create phrases, sort of customized phrases. Something that I can say, for example, is I'm home. Uh, and once I come home, that particular, they're called routines, will do a sequence of things. So my routines would be play this particular artist, and turn on the outside lights, the lights in my lounge room, in my kitchen, and in my uh, master bedroom, for example. Or I'm going to bed, could be another command where it goes and turns everything off, hums the music, and does other things like that. So you can create a lot of routines for a lot of different purposes, and they are fantastic. And that's what really makes that whole environment really, really fun and really good to use. All right, so let's just walk around from room to room and we'll show you the devices and the setup that we've got. In the master bedroom here, we've got a Echo Dot right here. Now this one has actually got the auxiliary port running out of it into a couple of speakers. So, well, normal speakers on the side, there with the subwoofer on the floor. Uh, and then obviously that is then also fed out from my TV to create audio uh, coming through the speakers. But it's just nice to be able to have uh, that running into better quality speakers where it gives you much better quality sound, especially in a larger room like the master bedroom where you want actually better sound that has a bit of bass to it as well. Uh, and that's just sitting on top of a uh, Apple TV, uh, which we use for streaming content. So every bedside table has got a uh, Wi-Fi enabled LED light connected to it. These are always turned on from the PowerPoint anyway, uh, and then I can just enable these uh, across multiple colors, millions of colors, different brightness levels, just by speaking to my range of devices around my house. Um, and these are also nice to create uh, different sorts of schedules, so I can automatically have them turn on and off at different times of the night or in the morning. So here on one of the desks, we've got another Amazon Echo Dot devices. Uh, again, because of the quality, we're gonna have one of these running out from the auxiliary port on the back into some of these Bose speakers, which are totally, totally awesome. Very, very good sound. Um, and it's just gonna give you a much better quality than running out of your device right here. And this is obviously grouped. Um, this particular desk is in our lounge room, so I can just say to play music in the lounge room or do something in the lounge room, and then it'll play through here, through the auxiliary port, into our speakers. Right next to that, I've got a light that has got a Wi-Fi enabled LED light, uh, very similar to the others. I can just control it. It's part of a group in our lounge room and I can just control the light on and off quite easily from any of the devices. Here is another Wi-Fi enabled light. This is in the lounge room and we've got a similar one in the dining room and another similar one in the kitchen area. Again, very easy. You can put these into all the specific groups and I can talk to it and the thing will turn on and off and to the color and to the brightness that I want. In the kitchen, we wanna to try to keep it a little bit neater so we don't have separate speakers. So rather than having an Echo Dot, I've just got a normal Echo. Uh, the quality of these are much better than a normal Echo uh, and the audio just plays straight through here and then it's just connected to power that I've just, just got next to it. 
Um, yeah, the quality is actually quite good. Uh, you're not gonna get as good quality as if you were to run separate speaker out of the auxiliary port. You can do that if you want to, but uh, just for the kitchen and to fill up the kitchen uh, space quite easily, one of the standard Amazon Echoes uh, does the trick really, really well. So here we are on the front of the house, just outside. Uh, I've taken the cover off this light just to show you that I've got a Wi-Fi enabled LED light here that I can switch on and off, millions of colors and brightness. I've got a few of these in the front and a few in the backyard as well. Uh, and the nice thing about these, I can automatically have them scheduled to turn on and off at a particular time. So I have them scheduled to turn on automatically once the sun goes down. Uh, and they can be obviously programmed for when you're out of the house for security reasons. And then they will turn off automatically uh, you know, at a later time during the night. I can then have them turn on sporadically throughout the night as well if I really want to, to increase my security. But the nice thing about this is I don't have to worry about it. They automatically turn on and off. Uh, and I can just literally talk to any of my Amazon Echo devices anywhere in the house to control my outdoor lights, my front outdoor or my backyard outdoor lights with ease. So here we are in the garage. We've also got a Amazon Echo as well as a smart light, uh, which I can enable on and off in different colors. And then I also have some music playing in here, which I can control. Inside one of the bathrooms, another Amazon Echo dot. Again, it's just the audio just playing through here. And then I just got it nicely running to my PowerPoint just up here. So in the kids' rooms, underneath the beds, I've got a Amazon Echo dot. Uh, and these are just in here really so that I can talk to the, the lights and music, etc., when we're in the kids' rooms. Uh, and that is just playing straight from the actual Echo device itself, uh, rather than connected to speakers. And next to our Batman, we've got a Wi-Fi enabled light that has uh, you know 16 million odd colors. You can adjust the brightness, etc. And it's just helpful having the light in the kids' rooms where I can essentially turn them on and off as needed. I can use them as uh, you know creating some nice night lights, things like that. So right behind me here, I've got my Amazon Echo Dot hooked up by the auxiliary port on the back to these speakers for better quality. And with my subscription to my Apple Music all configured, I can tell it to do something like this. Alexa, play the latest Green Day album. And there it goes. All right, Alexa, Stop the music. Something that's really great is that by having all of your devices playing music, uh, there is no delay or there's no lag between devices. So you can have uh, you know, Echo devices, Echo Dots or normal Echoes or other um, Amazon sort of products scattered throughout your house and you can be playing one song throughout your entire house in perfect sync which is what, you know, it can be pretty challenging with other devices to ensure that it's all streamed to all the devices at the same time in perfect time. But it actually does a very, very good job where you can walk from room to room, upstairs, downstairs, and that all your music it remains in sync and in time. So to be able to enable uh, essentially music across your range of Amazon Echo devices, uh, you're going to need some sort of a uh, music subscription um, to one of the main services. So. Amazon has their own music subscription service, as well as uh, using Spotify or Apple Music. I myself have got an Apple Music account, so I've just tied that Apple Music account to my Amazon account, uh, which I configure all through the Amazon app on my phone, on my iPhone. Then all of my devices will use my Apple Music subscription uh, to stream music across my range of devices. Now, because I've spoken directly to this device, this is the device that heard me, it will play the music from there. I do have devices elsewhere, but it's automatically picked up where my voice was coming from and it's played from that device. But if I have specific groups, I can literally just tell Alexa to play the latest Green Day album everywhere. And because I've got a group called Everywhere, it'll play that everywhere. And then I can start and stop, change the songs, and it'll do it across the Everywhere group because that's what I originally told it to do. Something else that I can do with some light that I've got right here, I can, I can say something like this. Alexa, turn the lounge room light on. Okay. All right. Alexa, turn the lounge room light to red. Okay. All right. You can sort of see that. It's, a bit, it's obviously daytime, but it is turned to red. Alexa, turn the lounge room light off. 
Another couple of products that I do have, which I didn't show you in this video, are just some smart plugs, essentially just PowerPoint plugs where I can plug any sort of device into it and I can power the devices on or off um, just from this power plug, essentially just enables and disables the electricity to that particular device. So things like um, having all of your, your home studio, your home stereo system set up, um, home entertainment units, um, all of your devices running through that into a power board, you can essentially just power it off all in one shot and you can conserve energy. You can do scheduling so that it turns off overnight and you save a bit of energy. Something that we like to use it for is for example, for Christmas time, you'll have the Christmas lights on uh, around the house, around your, your Christmas tree, and they can be timed on or off uh, through this smart plug. So rather than going old fashioned and using one of those old school sort of timers, um, you can do it all controlled through one of these smart plugs. So there you have it, that is my setup. I hope you found it helpful. Um, there's definitely a lot of things that you can do, a lot of things that you can set up to just really make it easy and customizable to you and to your house and how you want to use it. But anyway, that is it for now. I would love it if you gave me a thumbs up to this video as well as subscribing to my channel, Digital Bike Computing, and clicking on that little notification bell to let you know when new videos have been released. But that's all for now. Hope you found it helpful and we'll see you next time.